Hey friends, this is Sabi. Today I am going to tell you guys some of our enemies. These are some of our enemies. The enemies are all destroyed now. He has destroyed all his enemies. Like this death, sin, flesh, curse, devil, this all five enemies uh, are destroyed. These are the main enemies who, uh, who are against us. They all are destroyed. So I can see from here that Jesus def uh, defeated death on the cross. You know how, why I say Jesus defeated cross? Because he rose over death. The moment Jesus rose over death, death is defeated forever. Now death has no longer pa power over Jesus and it is defeated. So in the same life for us also. We, even we can defeat the things of the death thing. So I'll come to you uh, this thing later. But I want to say one thing that this death has been defeated. It has been, uh, now become powerless. So I can say that death has lost its power over us also. Because we are in Christ today, the death has lost its power over us. Like in second week, let me tell you about sin. Even Jesus, when he died, he took the sin of the entire humanity on himself. What of course is that he became sin so that we can become the righteousness of God. So we can also say from uh, this verse that the sin has been forgiven and all the things that was against us, all the handwriting was against us, has been wiped out. So today, even the sin has no longer power over you. What of course is that those who are under grace, the sin has no longer power over them. You need to walk in the grace, the faith, the life of God so that sin can no longer have dominion over you. Let me tell you about uh, this enemy, this devil. He's been defeated on the cross. The word of God is, is very clearly in the book of Colossians, the 2 or 15, that Jesus Christ has disarmed him and made a public spectacle of his enemy. So the enemy, the devil, is in public spectacle. Means, uh, uh, you can read my video all the time in the public spectacle. So it's mean the devil has been shamed out of that he's been defeated. He's no longer have any power. Even he to be very to doesn't have power over you also. Know this fact. This is the truth. He doesn't have any power over you also. And not only that, uh, even that uh, the book of Galatians, uh, the chapter five verse sixteen and the Galatians uh, three verse thirteen, he speaks about uh, this curse and this uh, uh, this flesh. I can see from this verse that. Our flesh has been crucified. In the word of God, those who are Christ, their flesh and the uh, desires of the flesh and his passion has been crucified. So flesh has been crucified. So it, this enemy flesh, it also has been crucified. It has no longer power. It has been crucified forever. So you need to know that it, how you can always keep up on the things of flesh and also only buy only one thing. You walk in the spirit, that way you will not walk or not fulfill anything of the things of the flesh. And the last thing I want to see of the, of the curse. Because you have been redeemed from the curse of the Lord. So it, it, you have been redeemed forever. So it's no longer any curses over you. All these enemies, this enemy which I am saying, it's been destroyed forever. So the word of God says that, that, that the law of faith in Christ in the book of Romans, it, it said the law of faith in, uh, in Christ has defeated the law of sin and death. It defeated the law of sin and death. So this law has been defeated forever. So you now know this, all of our enemies are defeated. Now, even the word of God says that the last enemy that, that is going to be destroyed is death. So death, uh, why is this death uh, still said as the last enemy which is going to be destroyed? Which is already defeated the death on the cross. Now it's for us to put the death under our feet. Because Jesus Christ is the head and we are the part of his body. And, and in the word of God says, always says that the, that, uh, that uh, the Father of God said to Jesus Christ, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. Yes, Jesus can defeat the death, but it's now right time for his body to make this enemy, this dead, the last enemy, to make our footstool. Let the dead, let, let the dead be under our feet. That we should not be scared of fear of death. That has not made powerless. It has no power over you. Know this fact and live by this fact that you will always reign in Christ. Thank you.